carbureted and fuel injected turbo small block Chevy. What do you think of that? Nice little blow through setup here. But the injector lines are what we're using right now today. If you look at this outfit, we've got a throttle position sensor in the car. We don't need, I mean, we don't have to run a traditional setup. So all we're using this for right now is a throttle valve. Now I got some video of it running on the carburetor. track is like sticky 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 today it, it might have hooked it might have had enough timing out of it that it hooked the clutch harder because it pulled the motor down the yeah i know i think i'll have to put a bunch more timing back i heard it it must have mile an hour decently on no boom I, I didn't look at the i it, like fourth gear right before the eighth it's picked up acted to me like the boost came in <laughs> i think if you go look at your data you're gonna find out you all of a sudden had boost up there I don't know, because it definitely started catching fire. Yeah, fourth gear was ugly. It, it, it was a little bit like it, it good. Yeah, I didn't see any smoke or anything. I didn't know if you'd put something on the tires, you know, but. Maybe maybe we got some water out of the rockers. I know we jacked it up before I saw a little bit. Oh, maybe could be. It, just it only takes one tire, you know, if, to get it crooked yeah, like that. It wasn't pulling that hard, but it kind of like. I mean, it's been under cover all the time. It shouldn't be full of water. Or we just washed it, eh? We just washed it, I don't know, but I didn't think we got that. Anyway, let's uh, pull data see what we got. Yeah, well, it was very lazy. Yeah, but I mean, that's like you said, it's no boost. Be curious to see how many pounds we actually made there. That's a nice... Because I don't know if boost all of a sudden came in at the end or what. That was a good 60 foot would be a... Like good bracket a 570, run. 570, yeah. 580 pass, which is yeah. fair. Would have been good for the no bracket race. Yeah. What do you got here? So this is our blue line. That's right where we dropped the clutch. Yeah. And then you can see the clutch working in there. Yeah. Say this is first gear. One, two shift, two, three shift, four, five shift, and let off. I believe that's what that is. This could be, there could be a little bit of tire speed in there somewhere that I'm not sure, but this would be first gear, second gear, third gear, and then- That's fourth. on no boost. Yeah. Yeah, that's on, so we made, we made 12 pounds. Yeah, I'll put some of that timing back in and on the hit. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of timing pulled out at 0. 0.3 to 0. 0.5. Yeah. And that's definitely right there. We we're pulling, and I would bet the timing. Look at the video; you're gonna see that's just about right because that tire hit, and then the car was a pig. Yeah, I mean, it's just what it looks like. Yeah, I, I, I think honestly, for today, the way the track is, I think I'll just put all the timing back in it, mm. and we'll just go make another happens. with it and see. Now. I mean, it's great. 
other than the fact that it keeps like plugging an idle circuit and getting lean driving it around. It just low speed. It just, it just started doing it on the return road again. We got a little tweaking to do there, but it got a little lean, honestly. It was mid to like 12.0, 12.5, kind of like we need to probably put, either adjust the power valves. I don't know if we're opening the power valves or not. Must be opening them. I don't know, ladders are too tight. I don't know. It was, a, it was getting a little... So let's look at the data. We'll, we'll look at the data. And either have to put more jet in the That would be good to do now if we want to play. Because we know this is working. We know we need to do a little plenum work and whatnot. You know, we probably should take our carpet apart and clean it and check it out. We could throw the injection shit on it. And let's go give her a shot. Same tune. Really want to put these <laughs> oh, like, I'm curious to see if it works now that we fixed the other shit. Okay, I'll look at it. So, Let me see what we got here. So here we are, this is the um, poly like data. Your way, uh, you got a big reflex in your hand there, see if you can. You may have to go in the trailer. Okay, so. Let me take that thing in the trailer. Yeah, we probably can. Do a video. Um, so this is our holly data. So we're just looking at our boost. Our boost is the green line, our RPM is the red line. You can see right where we dumped the clutch is that vertical like that vertical spike right there that's right where i dumped the clutch you can see the raised launch rpm we launched at 48 instead of 46 it caught the tire a lot harder and you can see that judging on the, the sharpness of that spike so if we were to drop a couple hundred rpm out of that it's going to soften the clutch so i think we're going to go ahead and do that and it looked like the boost was creeping a bit more than we wanted so i'm going to check i'm going to go ahead and check the data on the um on the msd and we'll come up with a tune-up from there and we need to really check through this air fuel on here so a couple more little tiny things to do but um yeah well on our way so man impressed with the blow through setup so today we're going to try the injection setup just using this as a throttle valve i'm kind of curious how it performs as compared to the carburetor downside of this carburetor is it's not really big enough for e98 it doesn't have quite big enough passages in it so we can only boost it about 15 pounds when we start running the carburetor um bad news about the fuel injection it hasn't run worth the crap ever since we put it on there i've never liked the fuel injection it's a father and son battle. Now we have found issues that you've been blaming the fuel injection for bad ignition parts. Maybe. We so want to find that out today, aren't we? We're going to do some myth we're busting. We're going to find that out today. I'm thinking the injectors are shit. We're going to do some myth busting. I think the injectors are garbage. I think that's our biggest issue. I think they're still garbage. I think they're still going to be garbage today. It's my personal thought. Hopefully I'm wrong because new injectors are a fortune. Um... A really good carburetor is a fortune too. I mean, I've got 300 bucks in this from the swap meet. This was an awesome deal. And uh, if we want to use this, we're going to need to put a larger booster in it with a larger tube coming to the booster. Actually, we need to change a bunch of crap. It's probably better just to buy a really good a another really carb. Because uh, this, this carb is great for like gas E85. Gas really good. E85. Yeah, lower any street E85 even would be amazing yeah. Yeah. um yeah. just not big enough for what we're trying to do we just it. can't flow them probably down. honestly that carb for like if you had a turbo ls deal yeah or like a stock bottom end turbo ls yeah. thing yeah. like that carb is going to be great to a thousand twelve hundred horse something like that it's going to be super great yeah. yeah but unfortunately that's on little girl boost numbers for us but so I felt more at home with this thing than i ever felt with fuel injection for sure i mean it's, and to it's me the car ran better sounded better tuning better. with a freaking screwdriver it's not difficult anybody yeah. can if you know the basics of a carb it's not well when i hear hard. it run with the injection tune i never liked the sound of it when i heard it run with that tune it sounded great to me to me it, it to me i like the carburetor but anyway we're going to run it with injection today I'll throw in some videos of the carburetor runs, and then today we'll make a couple videos of injector runs, sure. hopefully. And uh, we'll see what the hell we got. Well, off to the racetrack. Yep, load her up. Unfortunately, our uh, 
track prep guy is racing at World Cup right now. Yep. So, um, track prep is going to be not very good. Yeah, we're not so setting any records. We're though. probably, yeah, <laughs> this isn't a day where we're trying to go for us. We just want to see if it'll run. I mean, we just want to see if, if, it, run. if it runs properly and we can make like a 550 pass, it'll be a very successful day. But the cool thing is, is we can go from fuel injecting to carburetor simply by changing the regulator yep. and the lines, the, the yep. fuel, the that carburetor regulator. All lines right, right there. And we can just swap that out and unplug the injectors and we are... Yep, we just we just cap the rails when we do that. Yep. We'll cap our fuel rails and we'll plug in right to the carburetor so can, and it's running. We can be carbureted in minutes. We can be injected in minutes. Yep. We can swap back and forth. So honestly, if this deal ever, it, it might still be worth buying a really good carburetor, even if we wanted to be injection sometime, because uh, we cap this off. She's dry fuel. Nothing's getting polluted. If we had a problem at a race and we needed to go, and we had some kind of computer issue, injector issue, any other issue, we can load this baby with fuel and let her rip. Yep. And uh, so, you know, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to have. And I love the throttle better. This rod yeah. beats the crap out of that cable garbage that it has. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, the, the cables pull really bad. And I definitely, that is one thing even me. I mean, I'm sold on a rod. I mean, a rod's just better all Personally, the time. Perfect world for me. We would sell this fuel injection stuff. We would sell this carburetor. And we would buy a really nice carburetor. The unfortunate part about that is that intake is really well set up for EFI right now. But it is. It is. You know. But. You'll get that on them big jobs. We could put a plenum in it and make it work. That is the one thing we don't have is a good plenum under this carburetor. The problem with that is, is if you guys look at it, the runners are up a bit into the, into the plenum. Yep. So, of course, when you cold start it or you put, give it pump shot, it fills in the bottom of that. Yep. intake with gas or but we can uh, make a in there pretty easy so i mean we would need to just maybe epoxy and a little did you a put little your doodad. i have not it doesn't it's not being used right now so it doesn't matter all right let's quit gabby and so, load it off to the races well we gotta do an outro had kind of a side ending to our video the boys up in Naperville were down in maryland running i think we might have mentioned that they were running at the world cup uh got back there Fastest four cylinder in the world record. What the hell is that? 582 now? 582 now. Quarter mile. Yep. Pretty damn impressive. Those guys work hard. But anyway, because of that, the track was closed. So no testing. Um, so I kind of sucked. Got no answers on the injection. So I started calling carburetor guys and got basically no response from anybody. That was about worthless. And then I called ATM. ATM was like, yep, you need to speak to Doug. He'll call you back. He did right off the bat. I was really impressed with that compared to everybody else. That seems really good. And uh, I'm telling him what our setup is, what I need. <laughs> he says, ah, what color is your intake manifold? I said, what do you mean? <laughs> he says, well, there's, uh, maybe I've seen that. I mean, I'm wondering how, but anyway, I tell him what it is. He says, yeah, I think I've seen that. <laughs> Probably fuel injection in the carburetors include something. Anyway, he says, yeah, he said, I think your son posted something on a blow-through carburetor group. And he goes and he looks, and sure enough, he describes it to me. He says, yeah, that's ours. He says, uh, he says that carburetor is a nice piece. He said, he said, instead of me selling you a new carburetor, why don't you just send that down, and we'll fix it for you. And uh, he'll change it out, put the alcohol plates in it, put the bigger boosters in it, and do everything for me. For a fifth of the money of a new carburetor, he said, you've already got, you know, all the good stuff. I mean, I thought that was pretty damn stand-up cool for somebody to do that. It was in the carburetor business. I call that damn good service. So, I don't know. I'm thinking they sound like pretty good people to do business with. So, we're going to, we brought it in. We took the alcohol out of it. It's got gas in it so we don't gum up everything over the course of the winter. It's got cooling in it. Lightweight oil? I mean. 530 oil. I mean. So, I mean, we can start it and move it if we have to. We'll throw just any old carburetor on it for an air valve. We're going to send this thing to the ATM and get it doctored. And, hell, I mean, why not? I mean, pretty no-brainer. So, we're going to come out of the box next summer with enough carburetor to run. We maybe try the fuel injection again. Maybe not. 
We'll and, see. Uh, I'm sure we will because we're going to get curious because we're idiots like that. But yeah, um, it's nice for data too. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I mean, we'll, we'll so, definitely send the carburetor down. We'll have it where we can put the boost right to it and have enough fuel. So long story short, they went to World Cup. They came back the next weekend. They were supposed to do. If there was enough cars to do a private test session, like a track rental, they would do it. That day was blah, blah, blah. workable. And that day was a good day, and basically they didn't have enough cars. It was going to be too expensive for everybody. And now it looks like that outside. So, we're done. Yeah, done for the season. Sad day. So now we have to still put this in storage, which is going to be semi-interesting. Yeah, well, if it stays like this, maybe we'll just suck it back in the trailer for now. But, yeah. Um, anyway that's that's the end of that so season's over we got some answers we will fix this carburetor to where we can put the boost right to it because i liked it with the carburetor it drove it went really good very tunable it's not complex in any way shape or form videos i was editing this and you said yeah i didn't even want to try putting the injection back on then you changed that tune somehow i don't know what happened i because i think it'll run now <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna find when out. you find out you run out of carburetor, you kind of got to do something. We're going to fix the carburetor. <laughs> yeah, well, once we fix the carburetor, then that's kind of, it is what it is, right? Yeah. All right.